So I took the Pew Research Center's quiz on religion, and I thought I would share my results along with my thoughts on some of the questions. Um, so overall, I got 14 out of 15 right, and uh, I'll explain the one I got wrong uh, later on. Um, but on question number one, uh, you know, I found it very interesting uh, that Mormons knew better that Moses led the Jews out of Egypt than the Jews did. Uh, for question two, I thought it was sad that Mormons and atheists knew Mother Teresa was Catholic and Catholics didn't. Um, I thought it was very telling that as important as people take the Ten Commandments, only 55% of people could identify the fake commandment. For number four, um, I... Nothing real big here, but I thought it was interesting that 6% of Jews didn't know when their Sabbath started. Uh, number five, uh, this really brought to mind the fact that out of all the categories they had, Protestants, Catholics, Jews, Mormons, atheists, they didn't test or they didn't provide the results of Muslims' general knowledge on religion. And I thought that would have been really interesting to see how they compared to everyone else. Uh, for number six... You know, <laughs> it's really sad that Catholics don't know a, a big portion of their of a central tenet of their faith. I mean, more than 40% didn't know that the bread and wine used in communion literally turns into the blood and flesh of Christ. Uh, I don't know whether to see this as uh, positive or just pathetic. Um, on question seven... Uh, the big thing I saw there was that atheists dominated the question. I mean, the overall score for everyone was 38%, but atheists, we atheists, got it 70, we got it 72% of the time. I mean, that's a huge, huge difference. Um, number eight, you know, I don't really have much of a comment on this one except that the story about Job is just sad and horrible and just messed up. Messed really up um, and the fact that anybody looks to that story for some kind of moral guidance is disturbing um, so number nine uh, you know is kind of like the Jews in that or the Jews with the the Sabbath thing and that seven percent of Mormons didn't know that Joseph Smith was the founder of their religion uh, which is really surprising since Mormons were very knowledgeable on everything else you would have thought they would have at least you know had that like 99% or something. Um, number 10, you know, I'm really glad to see that uh, even if people don't agree with the Supreme Court's ruling on class-led prayer, that at least 89% of people knew what the rules were. Um, number 11, you know, yeah, 77% got it wrong, but hopefully that's because they don't want their children to learn what the Bible says. Maybe they realize that knowing what the Bible says is a quick, one of the quickest ways to become an atheist. And so hopefully they got it wrong, but it was just out of them hoping their children wouldn't be cut off the Bible. Uh, number 12. You know, I, once again, it's one of those sad things in that we've been fighting a war for so long in a country that borders Pakistan and in which Pakistan is a very central figure, central, you know, player in that whole conflict, and 32% of people uh, didn't know this very basic fact about that country. Uh, number 13, you know, I think it's a real shame that, you know, over you know, about half of Protestants didn't know that Martin Luther was an influential figure in leading to the Protestant Reformation. Uh, you know, it's just, it, I think it's shameful, actually, that you would be a Protestant and not know that. Um, you know, there's another question about, you know, one of the non-Judeo-Christian, non, you know, Abrahamic religions that atheists dominated in. Um, we scored 62% uh, right uh, compared to the 36% of everyone else in, you know, in, the, in something, and I, I think that really speaks to how varied our knowledge is in general compared to people who get, you know, tunnel vision on their own religion 
Although, you know, that's act- you know what? I should take that back considering how poorly people knew about their own religion in this. But still, big thumbs up to us atheists on that one. Uh, number 15. Um, this was the one I got wrong. You know, I had no idea what the first Great Awakening is. I, you know, I don't know what, what it was. It, was it something that happened in the 1800s? Was it something that happened in the 1900s? Was it something that happened fairly recently? Um, so I took a shot in the dark. Uh, and I think it's telling that it, I think it's a three choice for the multiple choice questions. And the overall score was 11%. So, you know, I don't feel so bad about that one, but I did get it wrong. Um, overall thought the quiz uh, was kind of fairly easy obviously but I thought it was very telling you know with the analysis that came afterwards and you know it's very varied and hits on a lot of key points so it's pretty cool um, clearly I'll have links for it down below um, that's it